sometimes I get a little <laughs> weirded out when people see me talking to a camera by myself because it's just a little strange. Morning, y'all. So, um, I'm putting on my face right now. I actually just did my hair. I was feeling an updo today. So I just put this um, curly water wave hair in my hair. I just took a bundle of hair like this. It's on a weft, but I did like a cheat method and I basically just took this whole bundle and pinned it in and tried to hide the wefted part. I didn't even unroll it. I just took it exactly how it is right here and um, pinned this in, combed it out so it could get fluffy. And that's it. it took me like five minutes. So anyway, sat down to do my makeup and y'all hold on before I get into the makeup look at my skin y'all my skin feels so good so I did a bentonite clay mask last night and I haven't done a bentonite clay mask in so long y'all and I'm so glad that I did it like it's so smooth it just feels reinvigorated so this is what I use let me show you what I use I use the Faye for a reset bentonite clay this is actually a brand by Thrive Market I have been shopping at Thrive Market for at least five years probably six or seven at this point and they came up with this line of cruelty free nourishing hair care body care and skincare products so I really wanted to try the bentonite clay I just took a quarter cup of this clay I put it in a bowl and then I added a quarter cup of warm water mixed it all together and then then brushed it onto my face once I put it on my face it just felt so cool it had a really nice sensation and it was kind of tingly I left it on for about 20 minutes it'll start to get hard and I rinsed it off when I went in the shower and then yeah today we are looking good mm, mm, mm. I can't even explain how soft my skin feels right now like extraordinarily soft and y'all know I exfoliate every day but even still like my skin feels amazing to the touch not even joking. And I also got these instant refresh face wipes. And this I thought was really cool. So I just wanted to try it out and see how it worked. It just looked interesting. And they come in these like little circle pellet type of things. All you have to do is run them under some water and they expand and they turn into a cloth. And you can use these to gently remove makeup and it also hydrates and cleanses the skin. I thought it was just a really cool concept. So yeah, these Fae products, they're really high quality. The price is affordable. They are made for every skin type. They have the bentonite clay they have the face wipes but they also have stuff like shampoo conditioner lotion they have body oil things like that so definitely give them a look today for my makeup I think I'm gonna go pretty neutral on the eye and maybe do a glossy lined lip I don't know let me figure that out I'll hit y'all right back <laughs> all right so I didn't only get the Faye products from Thrive I also ordered some food as well because I mean it's a must. So let me show y'all real quick what else I got in my Thrive order. I showed y'all these a long time ago, these Davina roasted tomatoes, the best. I love these on my black bean burgers. I also put these on avocado toast. I just love these so much. Of course, I got two jars because I just can't run out. Also got some packs of these organic black beans. Y'all know how I feel about these black bean packs. So clutch. Got two packs of this organic riced cauliflower. Really quick and easy to make. I got some of these Siete grain-free cookies in Mexican shortbread. I just wanted to try these. I had been seeing these before, but they're gluten-free and vegan. And that's what they look like. I always like picking out new things to try on the Thrive site. You guys know that. That's just like one of my favorite things to do, just to try out new things and see how I like them. Um, but anyway, I got this Char gluten-free baguette bread. I'm gonna be using this tonight because I'm actually going to make for dinner. I already have it planned in my mind. I'm gonna be making some spaghetti with a meat sauce. This is like the vegan version of spaghetti and meat sauce. And I'm gonna have some of this baguette bread with it. Also got some organic coconut chips. 
I got some of the Thrive Market brand organic sprouted garbanzo bean flour. So I love this because it's sprouted, which means it's easier to digest. And I also love the neutralness of it. Like some garbanzo bean flours, I don't know, they taste a little strange to me, but this one is really, really good. It's easy to work with. And I love to use it to make my like buffalo cauliflower. And this makes it super crispy and crunchy and just the perfect texture. Also got some gluten-free sprouted quick oats. Got some of these avocado oil potato chips. This organic salsa. Love a good salsa and that one's pretty darn tasty. Organic taco seasoning mix packets. I really like these and I enjoy the fact that it's organic. I had to replenish this organic glaze with balsamic vinegar. Y'all know I use this all the time. It's like the perfect finishing touch. And I get a lot of questions about like, what is that you're drizzling on there? This is what I use y'all, it's so good. Then I got some of this organic liquid coconut oil. And the last thing I got in this order is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. This is what I use every day to exfoliate and Thrive Market carries it. So I was happy to get it on there. And yeah, that was everything I got in my Thrive order this go round. And of course y'all know every time I feature Thrive products, they hook us up with a discount. So if you guys join Thrive Market today, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $50. All you gotta do is follow the link right here. I also have it clickable down below in the description box and you can take advantage of that promotion. So y'all guess what? I have finally sorted out the artwork in this bathroom. I have it right here. Hold on. Oh. Oh. One second. Oh my goodness. I have it right here. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show y'all what it is. <laughs> um, but I finally have the artwork ready to go. I just have to um, pick up something to hang it on the wall. Let me see. I think it's just one. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Why does this not want to cooperate? <laughs> it's just this, it's just this piece right here that I need something that um, attaches to the wall. So I need to go to Home Depot. Yeah, I'll probably go to Home Depot and get something to mount this. So I'm gonna do that today so I can go ahead and film this transformation video. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna film that video tomorrow. I'm really excited because now everything is completely done. Once I have this, um, once I have this artwork up on the wall, everything is completely done in here and I don't have to stress over it anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna get um, something to mount this so I can get that out to you guys. About to get dressed. By the way, I'm loving this makeshift ponytail I did. Really feeling it. Um, and y'all, I live in this robe. It's so comfortable. Oh. I think I showed this in a haul a couple months ago. But I got it from ASOS. It has the matching bottoms. I don't have on the bottoms. I just have on this two-piece um, loungewear set right now. But this robe is so comfy, y'all. I just wish it had pockets. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. It doesn't have pockets. The bottoms that it comes with does have pockets, so that's a good thing. But this actual robe doesn't. But um, with that being said, it's so comfortable. Oh, my goodness. I just love walking around in this. But, yeah, like I said, I'm about to get dressed. What am I going to wear today? I don't know. I feel like I wanna wear something comfortable but kinda of cute because I'm going to lunch. I'm going to this place I've never been to before but I saw online the pictures and it looks really nice. And it's a nice day out. I wanna treat myself to lunch. Have a little cute little, you know, cute little meal. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna wear. Not sure, but oh, let me um, show y'all. So I finished this book yesterday. I had showed this in a bookstore haul in my last vlog. I was telling y'all that I am actively working on improving my communication. I'm act actively working on delivering things in a way that would be more well received. So I thought this book would help with that, but it's actually not what I was expecting. It's more of like business oriented, work related, networking type of thing. That's the angle it is. You can use this on friends, family members, 
people that you already have in your life to strengthen your relationship. They do have some really good tips and tricks in here for that. But overall, I just felt like it was from a more business angle. So yeah, it just wasn't what I was expecting. However, with that being said, I do still like the book. I do think it's very useful. It had a lot of good suggestions in here that I wouldn't think to do myself. So I do like the book. I do recommend it. I think it would be great, especially for people that are looking to climb the, um, you know, the business ladder, climb the ladder, be more successful. This would be a good book to read. So yeah, I do like this. And I saw that the author had some other books. Let me show you. These are other books that she wrote. I think that I want to get at least one of these other ones because I just felt like this was a really easily digestible book. It was broken up really nicely. So I like that. I liked her writing style. So I think I'm going to check out at least one other book from her. But yeah, that's that. Let me go ahead and get dressed. I'll show you what I'm wearing once I figure it out. All right, y'all. So this is what we're going with. Off the shoulder top from Zara. It's really old. I got my multicolored bag just for some summertime, you know, summertime colors. These shades I got from, I always get questions about these. I got these from a street vendor actually for five bucks. That's where I got the shades from. Um, my jeans from Free People, my new go-tos. I'm going to iron these by the way, before I leave out. And then I have one, just these clear heels from ASOS. And we're off. Come on. Just made it. I'm starving, y'all. I literally have not eaten anything today. So I hope this food is good. I hope I can find some vegan options. We shall see. So right now I am at um, RH, the furniture store. But you know they have a restaurant on the roof. So that's where I'm going. Oh, hold on. Um, had to let that man pass. Sometimes I get a little <laughs> weirded out when people see me talking to a camera by myself because it's just a little strange. Um, anyway, look at how cute this day is, y'all. Let me put the window down. Look at how gorgeous the day is. So yeah, hopefully it's the vibe that I'm going for based on the pictures, I'm sure it is. So let's go in. See what we can see. Maybe do some people watching. <laughs> I'm actually going to attempt to take some pictures before I go inside. Because look at this beautiful ambiance out here. So let me try. So lunch was pretty good. I'm feeling nice and full. Um, the ambiance was amazing. The food wasn't like, it didn't wow me. It was decent. It just wasn't like spectacular. But um, the chai latte that I had, I had a chai latte with almond milk. That was exquisite. I actually had two of them because they were kind of small. So I had two of those. So good. It had like all the right spices. 
Ah, so yeah, and then um, I just went to the store. I popped over to a store that was across the street because I had to get a few things. And now I'm back in my car. I'm gonna hit, um, well, I gotta do some things while I'm in this area. And then I'm gonna, before I go home, I'll hit Home Depot. So I make sure that I get the thing to hang the wall art. But I figured while I was right here, I would do like a little Q&A because I was telling you guys in my last vlog about how much I've changed, how much I have grown as a person. And I got a comment today and I was reading it and I was like, I want to address that. I'm definitely going to do like a more in-depth video like I was telling y'all about, about how I transform my life. So stay tuned for that. But um, this comment, so okay, it says, yes, I would love to hear your story, an example of how you are an inf... <laughs> Hold on, let me start over. Yes, I would love to hear your story, an example of how you are an influencer and not follow the typical ways in which YouTubers promote capitalism and a set beauty and luxury standard would be great. You are beautiful, stylish, and practical. How easy easy or hard is it to be you in this business? It was like a few points that she brought up. So I want to touch on this question because I feel like it's for everyone it's different. Okay so let me start at the beginning. How you are an influencer and not follow the typical ways in which YouTubers promote capitalism and a set beauty and luxury standard. So that can be a little challenging. I'm not even going to sit here in front. Sometimes we, oh, and I don't like the word influencer, but sometimes we as people who have a following on social media, we do feel that pressure to uphold a certain standard. We do feel that pressure to keep up with certain trends. Like recently I was not seriously considering it, but I was thinking about how easy would it be to <laughs> go and hop on a table and get like a little body sculpting um because you know like it's popular right now bbls and plastic surgery and things like that and i was thinking to myself would i have even considered this if i wasn't a personality on social media would i have even cared that much about it by the way i'm definitely not gonna do it it was never like um a serious thought but I did just briefly think like hmm I could <laughs> just get like the perfect body and it would be so easy um, without having to work for it but no oh and I wanted to say y'all being in this type of space you get so many opinions so many things thrown at you at once like it was recently somebody had commented on one of my Instagram posts I believe and she was like she basically, hold on, this car was like way too close. Um, and, she, and the person was basically insinuating like, oh, are you pregnant? And I was so offended. <laughs> I'm like, we're in 2022. Do we not know by now that it is extremely rude to just go up to a stranger and ask them if they're pregnant? Like, who does that? I was like, I was really taken aback by that because if someone was pregnant, and they wanted the general public to know, they would announce it. If they were pregnant and they didn't want the general public to know, they wouldn't announce it. And then you shouldn't ask them about it until they present it to you because I had a, um, a supervisor. I got there and I was like, I wonder when she's due because she was a small lady, but her stomach was super like big. She looked at least six or seven months pregnant. I was thinking to myself like, should I get her something for this upcoming baby that she's about to have? But I found it a little strange that she never talked about it. And so because of that, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna bring it up. I'm not gonna ask her when she's due or anything like that until she brings it to us, her coworkers or whatever. Turns out it was a good thing that I kept my mouth shut on the subject because my supervisor was not pregnant at all. One day she had said something like, oh goodness, I need to get in the gym. I need to work out so I can work off this belly. Again, it just goes around to just be mindful of the things that you say. Some things are just so out of pocket, so rude, especially to just go up to a stranger and say, deep inside, I wanted to respond. I wanted to like clap back. Um, just a little bit, just to like let the person know and call them out on their rudeness. But I didn't reply. That's one thing. You gotta let so much stuff roll off your back, which is, if I'm gonna be honest, I feel like that's very unfair because some people are like, you signed up for this and um, this is what comes with being an influencer or someone in the spotlight. I don't feel like that should be a thing i don't feel like people should be able to say whatever they want to say to you and you have to just sit there and smile and take it on the chin and just keep it pushing sometimes that part gets really difficult 
because like I was telling y'all, I've been working on myself, but historically, the me back in the day, I'm very quick to clap back. Like I don't start things with people. And that's another thing why I am very, I used to be very combative because my thing has always been, I stay to myself. I don't mess with people. I don't start things with people and I don't bring drama to people. So when they do that to me or when I feel disrespected, when I know I didn't do anything to deserve it, I get very offended and I get very hyped up. <laughs> so it's very difficult for me sometimes to, you know, put it into perspective and just let things go. So that's one thing is you gotta develop a thick skin you gotta know who you are it's just so crazy when people come at you sideways and you're just like i cannot believe this i cannot believe that this person would even say that to me like who does that us as people on the internet we have to deal with that a lot it just baffles me how out of touch people are to even say certain things at this point it doesn't really get me down like it used to back in the day but it still can be a minor annoyance and if you're not secure in yourself comments like that comments um where people pick apart your appearance what you look like they can really drive you to want to buy into the trends they could make you want to alter your body and alter who you are just to fit a certain mold that you think you should be in yeah it definitely can be difficult but you just gotta really really um tune into who you are and try not to let the outside noise the outside opinions the outside uh chatter affect you as much but it definitely can be a task oh my goodness my edges i feel are about to lift and poof up because i'm starting to sweat um but anyway okay so the next one would be that was the beauty standards part but then okay she was asking about promoting capitalism and a luxury standard okay so for that sometimes i'm kind of caught in the middle of what to share what not to share because to some people certain things are unrealistic unattainable but on the flip side i want to show people that certain things are attainable certain things are possible certain types of lifestyles are available to you if you work for them especially for people that look like me like we shouldn't always show struggle strife stress we shouldn't always show us being um down and out and depressed there is another side of life there is more to life than that there is a better um, quality of life that you can have and I don't feel like that's unattainable or unrealistic if you have a certain type of mindset hold on let me let this truck pass and it can be tricky sometimes because it's like you want to be relatable and you don't want to feel like you are bragging or um, just going down that road but at the same time it's like this is what it is so that's a fine line to walk as well and I still haven't really um, figured that out quite yet yeah I just take it as it goes I don't really know sometimes what I should show and what not to show and sometimes I film certain things and I just completely cut it out when I get to the editing portion of certain videos because you know just for different reasons and then the last thing she asked was how easy or hard is it to be you in this business how easy or hard it's very easy for me to be myself because number one <laughs> y'all don't see me with a lot of people y'all don't see me um getting into a lot of different circles there are some people who are just social climbers they want to be seen with any and everyone so they're in a lot of different spaces and a lot of different groups and sometimes that can cause issues <laughs> um just dealing with certain personalities and especially in a industry like this where so much emphasis is placed on appearances is placed on success whatever that means to um different people where so much is placed on like kind of superficial things i found that it's harder in certain industries like the entertainment industry because as an influencer you are kind of an entertainer in certain ways so in industries like that you can get a lot of superficiality you can get a lot of disingenuous people and if you're around that a lot um i feel like you start to become it so that's why i i stay mostly to myself i don't try to be here there and everywhere i don't try to rub shoulders with everybody i'm very much on 
genuine interactions my camera overheated which has never <laughs> happened before um but anyway like i was saying being in this type of industry and being around certain energy certain types of people it rubs off on you and you start to become that just like the saying show me your friends and i'll tell you who you are and they also say birds of a feather flock together well y'all there are certain flocks i don't want to be in there are certain <laughs> types of people i don't want to be around and to me that just helps me to remain myself because when you're around people that don't share similar goals morals um similar character traits you start to conform and bend yourself to fit in with them and by staying away from that by distancing myself from that distancing myself from just certain types of energies that don't align with me i'm able to you know remain myself remain who i am and not change i've changed as far as maturing i've changed as far as wanting to be a better person i've changed as far as being able to put things more into perspective so i have changed in that way but i definitely um am mindful of not going down a certain road i'm definitely mindful of not becoming a certain type of person you got to take stock of yourself figure out what type of person you want to be figure out what type of person you definitely don't want to be <laughs> and stay away from those type of people so that's just me i stay out of the way i try to surround myself with like-minded people that's one way that i can remain myself remain true to myself and not waver in my character so yeah i just thought that was a good question her name is shanima so she's the one that asked the question thank you so much for asking that because it really made me think about some things <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go i gotta turn this camera off because i feel like it's gonna overheat again um i'm gonna go run my errands and i'll hit y'all back probably when i get in the house that person that cut you off in traffic is it worth getting upset over when you're never going to see them again nope. that they're distractions the only way they can hinder you is if you get baited into conflict best thing you could do ignore it don't give it the time of day. When it's a distraction, keep your face set. Stay focused on your purpose. Oh, back in the house. Got on my comfy robe again. <laughs> um, Y'all, I just recently started listening to Joe Osteen. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> on the radio y'all and he was preaching a word today it was so uncanny it was just what i was talking about and then after the part like the little clip that i showed you guys that i was filming um he was talking about something else and i was like oh my goodness i was meant to hear this because um it's like something i have recently dealt with like literally verbatim what i had told myself about the situation he said it out loud and i was like that's wild um so yeah, but anyway, y'all, he was preaching his little heart out today. Um, but I'm starting this book. This is a year of weeks. I showed this in my book haul. So I'm going to start this today because today is Monday. The first week is just keeping a log of your day. So it's a seven day log. And then the next week is a week of trying new things. And here are some suggestions. But then it just... Gives you the prompt to think of three new things to try. There was another one I saw that I really, this one. So this week, I'm very interested in this activity because I'm not usually a good compliment giver. Sometimes I'll see someone and I will want to give them a compliment. Like I'm very good at saying, thank you. Oh, that was really nice or something like that. But to actually go a step further and give someone a compliment that I don't know like if it's someone I know it's easier for me to do it but for like a stranger I usually never go up to someone and say oh my goodness I love your dress or something like that that's kind of <laughs> uncomfortable for me for some reason so this will really push me to be more outward in my appreciation of others and just to make others feel good like I do random acts of kindness just because it just really makes me feel good inside but I feel like being able to pass on compliments to people that'll be something else that'll make me feel good and make them feel good too so I'm excited to try that prompt see how it goes and you know work on 
my compliment giving abilities <laughs> so yeah but this book has just some um cool things and i think it'll be good so this goes for an entire year we're just gonna dive right into it so right now i have some clothes and things i need to put up got a pile here i did a haul recently and i just threw everything over there and then i got a pile over here these are clean clothes that i just got out of the washing machine that i need to sort and put away and then I just got a bunch of makeup stuff out here. I got, it's just a bunch of stuff all over the place. So I'm about to spend some time and clean, sort, organize this room. Cause I don't like being in disarray. So we gotta get this together. And then I think I'm gonna chill for a bit. Um, Maybe read, maybe listen to some music, maybe go outside and just sit with, I don't know tea or something until dinner time and then i'm going to show y'all what i make for dinner because i don't think i've ever made this before in a video so i want to show y'all my vegan spaghetti because it's really absolutely delicious so let me get this room together and i'll see y'all a little later all right i'm about to make my spaghetti first thing i'm going to do is boil my walnuts because that's what i'm going to use for the ground meat texture so i got some walnuts here i'm just gonna what? just gonna put them in a pot I'm going to do like one and a half handfuls. Fill that about halfway with water and I'm going to let that boil for about 20 minutes so the walnuts can get really soft. Then I'm going to use this Hearts of Palm Pasta. I'm going to let this boil for about 15 minutes. Now that the walnuts are done on the stove, I just um, put them in a strainer, ran some cold water on them to cool them off. And now I'm going to put them into my food processor to break them down i just pulse it until it looks kind of crumbly like a ground like a ground beef kind of texture make it a mess trying to clean as i go i like to clean as i go do you clean at the ends or do you clean as you're cooking i like to clean as i'm cooking because if not um it's like a big mess and i don't like that so anyway i'm taking the walnuts put them into the food processor Hard doing this with one hand. <laughs> Just like that. Then I'm gonna take a big pot like this, add in those hearts of palm noodles that I strained. Also gonna put in that walnut crumble. Then I'm gonna use this organic tomato basil marinara. Pour some of that in. Now, the trick to good spaghetti, to have it nicely seasoned, have a good flavor, is to add some taco seasoning, y'all. Thank me later with this trick because this makes the whole dish. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour some of this in. I never measure. Just pour some until it looks good. A little bit more. Then, I'm gonna mix it all together. See if I need some more pasta sauce. I think this needs a little more sauce, so I'm gonna Pour some more in there. I'm gonna let that heat up. And then I also like to add a few more seasonings to this. So let's go over. I usually like to add some Italian blend. I like to add some Himalayan salt, a little garlic powder, a little onion powder, a little oregano. So these are the spices I'm gonna add. Again, I'm not gonna measure anything. I'm just gonna pour it until it feels right. Almost forgot, but you can't forget the nutritional yeast. I'm gonna add some of this to it, and then that'll be it. Right, and here is dinner all done. Mm. I just sprinkle a little more nutritional yeast on top as well as some parsley and the spaghetti, y'all. So good. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit down, finish my dinner, 
and I'm gonna end the vlog right here. So thanks guys for watching and I'll catch up with So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye. This bread is good too. Mmm.